And this quarter's PES Win Magazine, really good articles inside of there. Uh, if you haven't downloaded it already, just go to PESWin.com. You can download this issue. In this issue, there's a really good article by Active Training Team, which is based in the United Kingdom, who do safety training. And they were involved in the Horn C2 project with Orsted. And Orsted uh, was integral with the uh, ATT on and making uh, the training more interactive, more immersive. And the, 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 Joel, I know you had looked at the videos online from uh, Active Training Team. It It's not like any other training program that I have ever been to. Yeah. I mean, to me, it reminds me of like in the States here, sometimes you have a high school thing where they bring in like a wrecked up car and it's, you know, to avert people from drinking and driving. So they bring you, they show you what can happen and they bring in, they may bring in to speak a parent uh, of a child who's been, you know, affected by it or, or by drunk driving or even the person who was drinking and driving and affected others' lives and have them speak to you. So it's an immersion into the reality of what the situation could bring. And that's what it seems to me like this, that active training team is bringing to the industrial education space. Because, I mean, let's face it, we've all been through, if you're in any kind of industry, whether it's oil and gas or wind or solar or, I don't know, a smelting plant, whatever, you've been through a bunch of training videos that are boring, right? There you sit there, you, you have to watch these 12 videos and sign off that you watch them and it's like a checkbox. Yes, that gives you some some knowledge. Right? I have some knowledge of eight, you know, H smell H two S. Look and see which way the wind is going. Go uphill and upwind. Like I remember those things from training. But this, uh, what they're doing is so immersive and um, engaging to all the senses. Um, right? You're in there. They have actors in some of the situations showing, ba you know, how people's uh, feelings and emotions can change what's happening on the ground in real time and. And, you know, everything you read from people that have done this training um, from companies like SSE, Siemens Energy, Siemens Gamesa, National Grid, RWE's been to the, the site, Ocean Winds, Equinor, Scottish Power, all of these operators up in the North Atlantic, they're taking advantage of this training that can really give their people uh, a dose of reality and show them the ramifications of what it's like if they don't adhere to the safety culture that's being built. Yeah, it's remarkable that many other safety organizations haven't tried this method because it's so interactive. And the actors I thought was a really interesting piece because there's real people portraying an accident scenario right in front of you. And I th that makes it a lot more real. And Orsted have invested a good bit of money uh, in the tra original training facility, like over a million pounds going go ahead to do this. Yeah, I think it was like 1.4 1, 1. million pounds. And, and when you break it down, they've Orsted put that money up. They've put over 2,000 people through the program. And that includes, you know, it's like in one day kind of from senior leaders, the back office and frontline staff, anybody from Horn C2. So break it down. That's only 700 pound per person investment. Of course, you're paying for their wages and, you know, ongoing people at the training facility. But if you're a large company and you're putting together training materials, you can spend that much just putting together videos to, to have. On. So putting something in that's in-person, that's immersive, that really shows the uh, the outcome and uh, can get the people to buy into it better. I think it's a great investment. It looks like Active Training Team is actually building a facility up in Scotland at the moment or has built one. Uh, so it's expanding, which is fantastic. I I would personally like to to see this up close I because it's so unique in this space. I'm thinking about all the onshore situations in the United States where um, this kind of training would make a huge impact on the level of safety. And I know we've had a couple of incidences in the United States recently, and this would, I think, would help to make it a little more real. Yeah, when you look at the uh, the little short bio about the author of the article here that's contributing to PES Wind is Dermot Kerrigan. And what it says is they have an award-winning team, ATT, has an award-winning team of professional writers, trainers, facilitators, actors, psychologists, and digital learning specialists. So they've got like... It, they're taking a completely different approach to training, and I think it's, uh, from my perspective at least, it's going to pay off. Yeah, it's unique, and I do think this we'll see this on the shores of America relatively soon. So if you haven't picked up the latest PES Wind magazine, go to PESWind.com and download it and take a look at the Active Training Team article. It's really good. 
As wind energy professionals, staying informed is crucial and let's face it, difficult. That's why the Uptime Podcast recommends PES Wind Magazine. PES Wind offers a diverse range of in-depth articles and expert insights that dive into the most pressing issues facing our energy future. Whether you're an industry veteran or new to wind, PES Wind has the high quality content you need. Don't miss out. Visit PESWind.com today.